I'm here in Crew Crescent in Palmerston North uh, and basically it's really, really, really sad to be here and to look at some of the living conditions that, even just from the outside of these houses, some of the living conditions that people in our society are having to live in. Now we currently have two men owning more wealth than 30% of the New Zealand population. So, you know, I, I just feel that that's absolutely disgusting and it, it's that, that, that is only going to get worse as we move forwards. And uh, as Mike King has said recently, a tide of horror is coming because basically uh, this social model is only going to break down and it's going to happen a lot faster than we really think it is. So I think we all know the drill by now. We have to get educated, uh, get a job and then uh, contribute to society. So look, in a system that destroys more than it produces, Jobs is not a contribution, okay? And this is what's really, I find it really difficult when I look right across the political spectrum and see these politicians just talk jobs, 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 and even the Greens talk about growth, 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 because you want they want higher wages and all that. I get that, you know, it makes sense. But in this model, higher wages means we're just going to destroy ourselves faster. See, what's happening now is that technological unemployment is making the entire foundation of our social model fall away. And uh, we are now automating jobs faster than we can create new bullshit jobs to replace them. So basically, uh, what we really need to do, if we really wanted to solve the ecological crisis on hand and the public health crisis on hand, is we need to automate. It's more efficient, it's more productive, it can help us generate an abundance. See, automation is a tool for producing abundance for little effort. It's absolutely insane that we're not applying strategic automation to society, freeing people, freeing people, de-stressing people, allowing us to actually be human beings rather than human doings. See, I don't think uh, we, uh, uh, we are designed to submit to drudgery in order to justify our right to exist. And that's what jobs are. Now uh, all the children are educated in the industrial schooling model we have. You know, we, we group children by their year of manufacture and we have a system designed merely to get a person a job one day. And it, the system doesn't really teach people to logically and critically think. So. Again, the system destroys more than it produces and uh, we, we really need to reduce production because we need 27 planets by 2050. Um, and obviously we, don't, we, can't, we can't just keep assuming planets into existence, okay? So what we really need to do is move to a resource-based economy. Now, after money, which is very soon, we are going to be able to have a life. We are going to actually be able to contribute to real things, you know, things that have a long-term social return. And um, that's what really needs to be pushed forward. This idea that we can just keep creating jobs and throwing funding at all the problems is just, it's just insane. And um, this is why I'm really standing for this campaign, is to really get this conversation out there so that we can really start to understand as a society that we are heading into a resource-based economy whether we like it or not, because there's no air or water built into the digits on the screens. So I started asking people, you know, like how often, you know, what about your, do you actually do anything at your job? You know, how, how many hours a day do you really work? And a lot of people say, well, you know, to be honest, I think what I do, you could probably do it in three hours, but a week, you know, um, but I stretch it out and they always say, like, don't tell my boss, okay? but. You know, a computer could do this whole thing. So you get all these people, and and I thought about it, and I thought, this is really interesting because this is exactly what capitalism isn't supposed to do. You know, back in the Soviet Union, they did stuff like that. They made up all these jobs because they had a full employment program. Uh, everybody had to have a job, whether or not you actually needed them to be doing anything. So they would, you know, set up these things where to buy a piece of beef in the store, you'd have to like go to one person to get the beef, and then you had a ticket, and then you have to take a ticket on another line. They just make up employment. Um, but we're doing something like that except it's all being done by the private sector. Most of these people weren't working for the government. They were you know, working for private competitive firms. So how on earth do you have a situation where private firms are making up jobs where they pay people not to do anything? In fact, these jobs 
constitute a pretty big sector of our economy. I didn't know how much at the time. I was guessing 20, 25%. It turns out it's more. We want to free people from most jobs. People say, well, you got to work to earn a living. No, you don't have to. They're installing machines now in all the field factories. So you just have 3,000 people working there. Now they may have 100 people. Machines put the cars together. You see these robots lifting up the car, putting the wheels on. In the next 10 years, machines will do most everything. Is it a machine takeover? No. When you've got this kind of denial, when the average house price in Auckland is a million dollars, is ridiculous. We've got politicians bickering over whether we should call it a challenge or a crisis. I don't care. We just need to fix it. And it's just some... I don't want to do an advertisement for you, but that is beautiful air. Yes. Well, you might have a big fat mortgage and a big fat interest rate to service that mortgage, and now I certainly do. But what if we told you that the money the bank lent you doesn't actually exist? You're paying interest on a loan that's been conjured up out of thin air. Sounds crazy?